Don't bring your kids to Vegas. It's not for kids. This ain't a kid's place. Uh -uh. Nah, it's not. It's an adult place. playground. You are selfish when you are walking around a casino with your six-year-old thinking you're doing something. You're there for you. And people yeah. are smoking. Yeah. There's also, Get out of here, There's man. also whores everywhere, bro. <laughs> There's that, yeah. which is why we go. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. What's up? You got new dog, Stevie? Yeah, this is my dog, Chewy. And we're <laughs> you chilling. can just rename somebody's dog. No, his real name is Chewy. Oh, it's Chewy. Is that his, yeah. That's his original name? Nick? Yeah, Chubert. Yeah, Chewy. Chewy for short. Great Chubert. dog. Chubert. Yorkshire how, Terrier. How can you... Have you guys seen the thing with the dogs talking? They're hitting the buttons. And talking to their owners. Oh, I saw that this on YouTube. This is huge, and man. It's real. It's yeah. real thing. So like, they train them. Where like, so they have a button like this button, and then when the dog pauses the button, like, say one of them is like, treat, treat. You or know? I'm hungry. And hungry, it says hungry. treat, and so then you give them, a, you train them by giving them a treat. God damn. And then you you make them press another button for pet, and yeah, then you pet, pet them every time yeah, they yeah. do it. And it's then they, voice and, recognition yeah. technology. Yeah. And then yeah. they like, they go boom, 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 and then they start yeah. to like. So this dog was talking to its owner like outside. You know, some, some danger, boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom, and then like, please send help. <laughs> you know, like, no, but it was like yeah. the the girl had a thing where the dog uh, had a splinter, and the dog basically let the the the, the owner know something's wrong with me. <laughs> You know what I mean? What? And then she figured it out. Dude, that's nuts. Dogs like blue balls. Blue ball. Blue, <laughs> blue yeah, blue yeah, that's balls. the one I saw. The dogs would be like, where are my balls? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You took my balls, but you <laughs> evil fucking bitch. She's like, okay, let's not let's not edit this. Uh did, did weren't they doing that with dolphins? Remember, I thought dolphins for a while were doing that shit. They're yeah, pretty but, smart. Oh, yeah, they're highly also, intelligent. shut the yeah. fuck up, dolphins. Yeah. It'd be it's funny like, if you got, like, a really racist dog or something, like, he's <laughs> yeah. just, or he's just sexist. You'd be like, I knew, I'd be like, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking knew it! <laughs> That'd be Theo's dog, you yeah. know what I mean? That'd be one button with an ER on it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it was pretty amazing, though, honestly. And then, so this, this is the it? Yeah, 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 that's, that's the one I one. saw. That's one of them. My one-year-old sheep doodle in my life for just about a year. Yeah, this, she's this is amazing. Oh, she's a very singing. thoughtful dog. Yeah. Talking constantly with her to be able to communicate this, with her. Was this Portland? Way. Yeah, there it is. There's a, yeah, there you go. Holy what shit. What There's a big barge going by. You see what I'm saying? It's amazing. Bunny has been using buttons to communicate with me since she was eight weeks old. Oh, no. oh wow! Yeah, it's insane, right? You don't think he's mistaken? What? No, no, man. Because it's certain things, man. That's a bird. So, so they're How, talking about um, this technology. They're talking about this technology being able to use to like get to a point where a dog can let you know where it's hurting or something. Damn, that's Because cool. that would yeah. be like, you know, when things happen with dogs, they don't know. That's the tough part about you what never some, know. They yeah. have to just assume and kind of guess and you don't know what's going on. You know, Same dog, with babies too, right? Yeah. Like you have no idea what's going you on. Have no, idea, no idea what's going on. So this is like a really amazing, like, this, this is a man, weird crossover. You, you ever seen the Rick and Morty episode where Rick designs that thing so the dog can talk? And then they give it a battery pack, and then the dog starts, it, like, it helps his brain out. Next thing you know, the dog's just, like, in a full robot outfit. And he's like, you took my ball. <laughs> like, Do you think I want that? Yeah. <laughs> he shows, like, it's in the middle of the night. He just walks up as a robot. He's like, who cut off my ball? She's like, what? That would be the first thing any dog would say. Hell, yeah. But he'd be like, well, you were humping but, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Your red rock was all over the place. But now they take they take what they do for the dog so it doesn't feel like they're missing in their balls but i'm who knows they need to talk to a dog who can talk they put in the the fake plastic balls so it looks like they still have nuts yeah but that's not what the, the, it's not a cosmetic thing no the dog's like what yeah. the fuck yeah, the dog's like i, I got two implants well, yeah are they, are they like can, jelly bean like how big are the balls i think you can pick like titties like, like, like double d's okay they're like, like ping pong balls Right? Oh, uh, uh, forget. Yeah, that like yeah, huge. like ping pong. Yeah, I know. Ping just like yeah, ball. but th those bulldogs have some nuts on them, bro. See, there look you at go, that, dude. See, that's a big nut, dude. <laughs> that's a fat Why ass is nut. Making me feel bad about yeah. ping pong. God, that's who gave the dog a ping pong that ball? Is, a little yeah, pebble that, on the that right. Pretty yeah. That's a goddamn tennis ball. I want clownish double yeah. D's. Yeah, <laughs> I want my dog on the big. <laughs> yeah, double D tits out the back, man. Like Sam Cassell in the playoffs. Oh, oh, they blur God. that out. Oh, him doing that. That's one too one much. ball. That's his one ball. Well, he was just 
He was just because he hit a big shot, so he's like, I got big cojones. Oh. Damn, cool. he's got a big ball, dude. <laughs> this guy had a dog-related king at her sting it for us. All right, well, let's hit it. Yeah, got a king and a sting it for you guys, bringing your dog to the workplace. Is it fun or is it annoying as hell if you get a shitty dog there? Uh, Let me know. Let's well, I mean, he he, he already yeah. said, he he already laced the question with what we all think anyway. It's like, <laughs> if you have a shitty dog. Correct. Yeah. If it's a bad dog, like pissing on the walls. Yeah. And it yeah. depends on the shit. work, too. Like, Chewy's just, yeah, this is what chill. Chewy does. <laughs> Chewy's <laughs> fine. You can bring Chewy whenever. But if, if it was like chewing on the couch or and shit and barking at everybody, dog, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or we're I, all scared. You, get, you bring a fucking pit bull in or some shit. <laughs> Everyone's all no. scared of them. I, I was a hypocrite, too, because I was like, keep your dog at home. They're fine. I hated people who said their dogs have anxiety. But Chewie really has anxiety, and he has to come with me. He does? He's a sensitive He comes boy. from a rough <laughs> background. Yeah. What I, do you do? When I first ever went on the road, my first road gig was uh, – I was working for Tribble, the Tribble Runs, this guy Dave Tribble out of Montana. So I had to fly to Utah, and the, and the, and the headliner, uh, we got in his car, and he brought a boxer. That's not like a, that's yeah. a big small one. dog. Yeah, it's a boxer. Yeah. And so we drove all over in Montana with this box. Sweet dog, but boxers have huge anxiety, man. And and they're active. Oh, like they man. They want to play. Now. Well, yeah. all of them, you're generalizing. <laughs> all boxers are? Oh, boxers. They're known for having a lot. Of, yeah. I used to have one. They, really? Yeah, but I they're had, called the comedians of dogs, though. Yeah, because they're silly or what? Yeah, they just, they're crazy. They, they're, they goofy. Do, they're goofy yeah, as they're hell. Goofy. Oh. And they're boxers because they do box. They'll come and hit you in the face like, bow, 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 bow. But they love kids, and they'll just be like, you know. But it's like, it, it's it, it's to me, it's a lot. I'm not a fan of dogs. I'm not a fan of just dropping a dog on somebody with no notice. No, yeah. I don't like that. No, mm. one, one time uh, we had a scare at the house. This is year um, five years ago. We had a scare at the house where someone broke in, and I was like, oh, we need. I freaked out because I was going to Australia on tour, so I was leaving my family for two weeks. Right. So I was like, we gotta do something. We got guns. And then I went and called my boy who's, like, in the Special Forces. He's like, bro, you just need a Malinois. He's like, I'll get take care of it for you. So I'm like, cool, where's it at? It's, like, Northern California. I drive up there. I get this dog. I talk to the trainer. like, now, this dog only speaks German. If you say something else, it's going to be it's gonna have problems. I'm oh. out. <laughs> no, I was like, hell yeah. Right? But my girls never owned a dog before. So I dropped this fucking Zero Dark 30 dog at the house. How only, big was only, it? Fucking big, dude. Only speaks German, but just a straight killer. Bigger than and my girls woman? never had a dog, doesn't like dogs. And I'm like, no, he's going to protect you while I'm gone. How does a dog know? You, you can't just drop a... a <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. So you came back, Dude, your family was bro, beaten. No, I, I, fly, I fly to Australia, right? And I have like a thousand missed calls from my girl. So I listen to the voicemail and you just hear, Ro, Ro. She's like, help, help. It's biting the kids. Oh, my God. Of yeah, course. Yeah. yeah. What did you? You hear my girl being like, Unch, Nisa, Unch, Nisa. I'm like, nine, holy shit. Nine. nine, nine. I'm like, that was a bad idea. And that's my fault. That's my fault. You just drop Hitler off at your house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, he was fucking jacked. What'd you end up doing with the dog? I, I kept him for a long time after that, and then I gave him to a police sergeant. That yeah, lives that close to me, so I still right. see yeah. the dog all the time. Yeah. Mm. That... I fucked up, man. Yeah, dude. I panicked. I panicked. That dog was not cheap. You got to do some research next time, man. Yeah, like, I You got to meet the dog. This guy, he's, he, he'll get, he'll make a, like an alligator moat you know, <laughs> around his place and just be like, okay, good luck, everybody. <laughs> be like, can just <laughs> have a wild-ass beast drop off at your house? Oh, oh, this thing was such a savage. Yeah, it only spoke German. If you gave it the wrong command, it was fucking on, man. <laughs> yeah, my girl's like, this. I've never owned a dog before, though. I'm like, well, and they probably the dog probably picked up on everybody's fear. Oh, oh that yeah. was the thing. That's yeah, their the dog was like alpha in that house. Give yeah. me some food, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know hey, did mean? it bite? Yeah, uh, it, it 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 got excited and just like nibbled at my son and my girl that know dogs. <laughs> yeah. She like freaked out. But I have a picture of Tiger and the and the fucking Schnauzer dog that just that beast of a fucking Navy SEAL dog and they're yeah. both laying on the ground. My son's like staring at him like this in the picture. Yeah, he didn't yeah. Trust him. I like um, you know, like I think pit bulls get a bad rap. Oh, I love pit bulls. Oh, they're bad. loving. They're, they're actually yeah, very they're loving great. dogs. They're great dogs. with humans. Like they're, they're they can be a little dog aggressive, but with humans. There's not a better dog. 
Yeah, I see, and I love seeing like a picture of like a little baby and then two giant pit yes. bulls. Oh, yeah. That are just like, and you they know. protect that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. yeah, they do. Or you see yeah. the baby sleeping, like the pit bull like guards the baby. Yeah, yeah man. So it's like, I think pit bulls are, I want to get a dog, but my girl's like, why don't you save a dogs. pit bull at the um, shelter, I, man? Listen, I ain't saving Hey, come on. Hey, I'm no, getting, they're, they're I'm the most common dog. Getting, I'm Dude, getting a fresh dog. Because he's not poor. He's not poor. He's not poor. Well, you, wait, wait, what does that have to do with being poor? I'm yeah, getting a fresh new dog. Okay. Oh, if your girl's <laughs> no, allergic, you though, you can get one, like man. golden doodle and stuff where they're non. That's what hyper- looking for. Yeah, I think a, I think a Rottweiler is a, a. No, they shed, don't they? No, I think they're. There's like golden doodle. Well, There's I looked up dogs. the uh, thing. I looked up the hyper uh, uh, allergenic. Yeah, yeah. dogs. Yeah. And I think Rottweiler is one of them. I hope it is. That's what I, I want a Rottweiler. I think if you go to the right breeder, they can make hyperallergenic most things, but. Yeah, yeah, Rottweiler you should save like a dog, a dude. Save one. Oh, here we don't go. Don't go to a breeder, man. <laughs> S- save a dog. And if you do save, save a, dog, a dog, that's the save first thing I want to tell you when we get to the dog park. It's a rescue. Yeah. Hey, bitch. What else yeah. you do? Yoga? This, this is guy. My, this also- is my I made good life choices dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy also, he wanted to shout out his dog's name's Kuma, and he's a coach at Bill Algio's MMA gym in Pennsylvania. I knew oh. something was up because he's like, uh, Kieran's saying, bringing dogs to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, this guy right here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He no. looks like MMA guy, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you see that. We check the ears. Yeah. Or the shirt. Uh, <laughs> yep. It looks like an MMA shirt. Yep. All right, next one. You, you guys never king did or stinged it. I'm, I'm uh, half well, we, half. We, he kind of said it though. It's like oh, if it's okay. a shitty so dog, right, don't I'm just bring to work. Trying to stick to protocol. What else is weird? Is, <laughs> yeah, yeah like that, I appreciate you sticking stuff. to those. Stick to the so what is, the, what is it? You kinging it? Yeah, I know you're kinging yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, king it. Yeah, depending. Yeah. I'll on king the it if it's a good dog, but I'll, I'll sting any animal on a plane. Remember for the longest time, finally the the TSA was like, "Hey, bitch, quit bringing your goddamn golden retriever on the planes." What any the any ostriches? Yeah. Some bitch came out with a turkey. Yeah, but a they turkey? have those. But they have those. Uh, <laughs> they have those. Like, are they? This is a doctor's note. Yeah. yeah, this is my you know comfort comfort turkey. Yep, or whatever it is like that. Yeah, you some know? some bitch really try bring on a big ass turkey. That's crazy. We should have like a comfort extra girlfriend. You know. <laughs> You're like, I just what get if the doctor's anxiety. note. What if your doctor's note was yeah, like, you need me. a side piece, <laughs> dude, bro, bro, dude. You let me know, your girl. Like, what the doctor? I'm like, doctor said. You know, he said that's gonna actually help our relationship. I'm just kidding, Rachel. In case you're watching, <laughs> I'm not. It's a brilliant idea. <laughs> If there's a doctor out there who oh, might you know. You weren't lying, Brandon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Mitch bought a fucking live smokes. dinosaur on the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is, that you ever is seen ridiculous. a turkey's feet, dude? No, I've just eaten it's them a, for It's a triceratops. Just yeah, like, no, I've seen it. I don't... Yeah, that is, that is yeah. ridiculous. What up, cats? In a tiny apartment in Southern California, two college dropouts teamed up to create a watch company that broke all the rules. With fair prices, unexpected colors, and clean original designs. MVMT. That's right. Movement grew into one of the fastest growing watch brands, shipping to over 160 countries around the globe. Now, that's a brand you can get behind. One that started at grassroots. Now, MVMT is expanded into blue light glasses that protect your eyes from your screens, minimalist jewelry, and more style essentials that don't break the bank, all designed out of their California headquarters. Yep. If you haven't tried a movement watch, then you just, you ain't spending your time wisely. That's right. Movement watches have the look and quality of a $400 to $500 watch, but cost a fraction of the price that's where we live nowadays stay hype look hype the look is what matters when it comes to this sort of thing if you want to elevate your style without breaking the bank then join the movement get 15 percent off with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash k-a-t-s again that's mvmt.com slash cats football is right around the corner yep you know it Cats, kitty cats, football is right around the corner. It's coming. You can hear the football coming. It's rolling around the bend. Head to DraftKings Sportsbook app now and place a bet of $1 or more on any week one game to receive $200 in free bets instantly. That's it. That's right. Nothing adds to the excitement of watching a game quite like having a free shot at a million-dollar top prize. A million. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code CATS to receive $200 in free bets when you place a $1 bet on any football game. 
and get a free shot at a million top prize with your first deposit. That's promo code KATS for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indianapolis, or PA only, new customers only. Minimum $5 deposit and $1 wager. One per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. I'm about to find that doctor to give me a fucking hall pass for a side piece. <laughs> like, yeah, they said for my mental health, I need a girl with a blowout ass. <laughs> <laughs> a, a what ass? A blowout. <laughs> BDF. <laughs> what? What? Stevie's all I got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right I do. Oh, hey, are we gonna do that 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 ceremony, guys? Send off. Yeah, we gotta do it. Yeah, we'll put it, it for next week. We'll do it before the show, and we'll play it on air. I can bring my butt. Of course. Yeah, bring the butt. For Always sure. welcome. Yeah. Oh, we'll put it right there in the Ooh, middle of the want, table, bro. Sure, can we bring? We have to bring gloves. Just put it in a Ziploc the, bag. I want to be sanitized. Just knowing Steve's been in it, yeah. it'll be kind of weird. Hey, been in it. Watch your words, Eric. Watch your words, Eric. Eric, really think about what you're about to say. Watch your words. Just watch your words. That's all. You've been in it. Watch your words. And, and now here's the thing, Stevie. <laughs> you know sanitized. it's going away next week, what? so that butt's like okay, here we so go. Let's talk about hold it. So on, hold on. It's sanitized. When's I'll, the last time you gave you it know, a thorough cleaning? I'll shampoo it and shampoo? I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. Oh, right, shampoo kid? it. You Back can pretend up, that that fake ass doesn't have COVID, and you're yeah. bringing it in here that Dude, COVID it's bomb clean, ass, bro. Ask really? me again. Now, now I now all it's I have clean. is a visual of Steve in the shower with the butt, and he's just got it like <laughs> Wait, this, like a football. And he's got like shampoo, and he's going like. <laughs> I'll dab it, dude. I'll soap it up, dude. Uh, I respect Blow you. Blow dries it. I'll do it for you guys. Yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll wash it with shampoo and soap. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Dish, yeah, and then I'll put it in a Ziploc bag, huh, Nick? And we'll bring hazmat suits for everyone. <laughs> you don't have to <laughs> yeah. do that. It's gonna be clean. And tongs. It's gonna, tri- <laughs> it's gonna trigger Theo if he sees that ass. But me and Eric are cool. With well, it, I'll put it in a shoebox, right? And we could have flowers in the shoebox. A shoebox? How big is it? That ain't a big enough ass to fit in the yeah. shoebox, my man. It's pretty big, dude. You, you can so bring a Steve's, briefcase. Steve's butt and the way he also measures dicks is the same thing. <laughs> sandwich. It's all the same. It's like this. It's, like, a sandwich it's, a, it's a fat ass <laughs> double whopper. Yeah. No, I was referring to Theo being that. <laughs> but because well, you guys think so I'm kidding. This is he, the black butt. Word around town is he has got the biggest penis in the comic community. Ooh, I, Brandon, yeah. give him some love there. He, I'm sure. I'm sure he's packing some, but big. There's some big dicks out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, he, I didn't know. Has, that, I didn't know there was a website for this. Yeah. Or something. So I've like heard him a, say he's got that short round. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no short round. Short there's no short round. round involved in this. Okay, I'll bring it next week. All right. Okay, no problem. This guy's got a king under singing. What's going on, Brennan and Theo, or Brennan and Stevie, or Brennan and Griffin? Man, I can't keep track anymore. Hey, me neither. Buddy. Buddy. As as I'm exhausted. <laughs> Go ahead. Y'all keep changing co-hosts as much as most people change their underwear. But anyway, I got a king and a stinger for you. I think Jake Paul should start his own fighting league. What do you think? Me personally, I think a lot of fighters would jump ship and go over to his league. Agreed. Especially if he's paying as well as he paid Anthony Taylor for sparring. He's like the modern day Robin Hood. He's stealing the money out of Big Daddy Donna's pockets and giving them to the fighters. Me personally, I think a little competition's healthy. Let me know what you think. Whew. Oh, Jake Paul, if you see this and you like my idea, I like 10% bra. I got a lot of mouths to feed. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. He was like I wonder how many times it took him <laughs> to film that. He could probably be like, oh, it's, it's, re- it's, it's, it just felt yeah, like, oh, you can that was take yeah, number was 10. Yeah. It was definitely he was like, And he's probably like this, fuck, <laughs> man, go again, damn it. And his wife's like, calm down, calm yeah. down. Yeah. It's just a show. It's a comedy show, babe. How'd you know that? Just just his, you can tell. It, it doesn't feel. His, his wording? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel natural? You know, you sound. it sounds like he did that 20 times oh. before. Oh. Because he's not enthused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fellas. Well, or is he? Re- he's reading it off cue cards or something. No, he didn't go that far. No, he didn't go Sorry. that far. Well, in terms of this Jake Paul thing, first of all, let's review the fight. By the way, well, I didn't see the fight. What? Oh, you didn't see I it. Didn't see you the saw fight. it. I saw the recap. So you didn't see it either. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't see it either. I, saw, I saw the replay. But would you would, yeah. in the recap? Well, I saw I saw Tyrone. He, he landed a big shot. He landed, landed a big, big shot sh- of the fight. Shot against the ropes. He almost downed him. Yep. Um. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm not into fighting. I yeah. just, I just, it's too violent. I just don't like the violence of it, and you know. Mm. And I just always think of Muhammad Ali and how he was in his later life. And yeah. It just, yeah. And even like Evander, that takes the fun even like Evander <laughs> Holyfield, even like all these guys, all these fighters, you see them and how they talk and what's going on. Now with they're them. using the buttons the dogs use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the like, girl. Shit, shit. <laughs> yeah. There need there needs to be weight classes, though. Wouldn't wouldn't you agree? I mean, he looks so much bigger. Uh, He's got had like 30, 35 there, There's weight classes, but here's the thing with Jake Paul and his own fight league. So, you know, he he, he paid those other fighters good. There, there's a reason. I mean, Dana could pay the fighters more, but when you get into making the sausage and you go through the numbers, mm -hmm. it's going to be a beast, man. Like, I know he wants to pay everyone, you know, fairly and stuff like that, but once you really get into it in the, the production and yeah. renting the arenas and then you realize, oh, damn, this can start taking out my pocket. He's going to be singing a different tune. But what does it have to do with weight classes? I mean, he was a They have weight guy. classes, though. But he was a way bigger guy than Tyrone Woodley. Yeah, but that's a... Uh, he had like 40 pounds on him. And he was I know, like, but that's... He that's a, it's an exhibition uh, he had some fight. pounds on that's, that's an exhibition, exhibition fight. fight, yeah. It wasn't a real fight yeah. in the sense of like a And he's making that fight. kind of paper doing that? Okay, well, this is my point I'm trying to make. He made millions, dude. I know, yeah, yeah because people bought it, though, Stevie. That, that, yeah. like, it's a, that's, a, that's his market value. So it's value. an exhibition bout, but... Against a, a guy who has a lot more experience. Like, yeah. his advantage... Who like, has more experience? Woodley. Right. Not even close. Yeah, Not but he close. can do takedowns or jujitsu or elbows. Even in box, but just in fighting in general, he has, you know... I don't know. Ten man. times. I just think the weight has a, a. It's a big deal. To I me. know, but it's an exhibition bout. Yeah. yeah. yeah if he goes true. into more professional fighting, it's going to be weight. So if he was 125 yeah. pounds and the guy's 200 pounds and it's an exhibition, is that fair? You know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but it, because no. if it's, it was a pro fight and it's 12 rounds, they're not going to let that fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many rounds? Eight. It was eight rounds. Eight, eight rounds. Yeah. All right. Well, they, they, they had to weigh in the same weight. Okay. They had to. They did. They both weighed in 190. They did. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. So Jake's just taller. That's he probably what you're saying. He's bigger, seeing. though, too, dude. He's, he's way bigger. Yeah. I mean, he's bigger for sure, but they both weigh. But he's weight, cutting weight But that, that happens in the UFC, Stevie. Like, yeah. there's certain guys that, you know, if they cut to, like, uh, Darren Till used to fight at 170. He's what did he huge. cut What did he cut down from? I always wondered Shit, that. probably 210. He cut that much weight? 170. So is that all water weight? Like, because I used to wrestle, we used to there's wear a trash lot of water weight, but there's a lot weight. to it. Like, Anthony Johnson, Rumble Johnson, used to fight at 170. He walked around at 220, 230. Damn. That's ins that's that one of the craziest way, ever. weight cuts. Yeah. Is there a method to the madness? Oh like, yeah. So they. What I mean, do they but do? but sometimes like guys who cut a ton of weight, then they don't perform. Like it's too much oh, weight, and they feel like shit. And yeah. I really believe in like being dehydrated. You're more likely to get knocked out because you don't oh, have yeah. fluid in your 100%. brain. Yeah. Yeah. It. 100%. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's good, but it's hard to get rid of. There's yep. no real reason. Well, yeah. I think that I think that what all these fighters should take from Jake Paul. Is being your own brand, yep. you know, and I think that that is the thing that we're moving towards. Because yeah. what Logan and Jake have done, you know, they've taken their they they. I think that they're very serious about fighting, yep. and they take it very seriously. Yep. But the thing they also take seriously is their marketing, marketing themselves. Yep. And that's what he did, and and it's like. All these guys should have social media. Uh, yeah, that, and support. this is the new age. Like, you look at the NBA players like Zion Williams, for instance. Yep. I was following him when he was in high school. Long before, yeah. Long, he had two, three million followers going into college. And you don't care that he plays for the Pelicans. Yeah, you don't care. You care about Zion. Like, you, you, know, you, and, and, you hit it right in the nose. Like, yeah. for, for Jake and Logan, it's like – they could fight on Triller. They can find Showtime, HBO, the yeah. UFC. It doesn't matter. So these guys you care about Jake and Logan. It's not, and this is a new era of media. And, and it's and not branding. just about. It's not just branding about yourself. skill. It's not just about. And you know, and this goes for all professions. It's the same thing that's happening in the comedy profession yep. too, man. It's like what you talk about of somebody being like, "This guy's super funny," but like people don't know him. They yep. can't access him. They don't know anything about him. Or he's not relatable. Not or he's relatable. Just not, or like, what, for whatever reason, it doesn't connect. But he's a monster on stage. Yeah, but it doesn't even matter. Or something about like matter. you know you, do you have like a, are you in a podcast are yeah. you like a, what's your social media presence are you doing videos are you on TikTok and all because how stuff? are people gonna find out your performance right. it's just a, it's just a new era yeah. so it's like these all these people in the fighting world they're messing up they need to be doing like daily like hey I'm training or I'm like Agreed. whatever it is and yeah. then people will be like ooh I like that guy you know you know who's doing that is Izzy Stylebender like he'll do a breakdown of the Jake Paul fight he'll do a recap of it he'll do like lifestyle stuff yeah man and then you look at the views and like. When he retires, he's going to have that to fall back on. That's what yeah. I'm saying, What man. about the comic that has the fan base and the branding, but he's not as funnier as the matter. guy? 
you know, that's super funny at like it matters a little. Li- I think it matters um, a little bit there because no, there's there, a minimum. There, there, there won't be there won't be, be longevity. With it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, see, I don't know. I don't know about that. I think there's a uh, first of all, there's a minimum standard. Like the people aren't dumb. You know what I mean? Like so, you have like you know. You have like your comics comic, or let's say like you have somebody that like comics find funny, or yep. you have some artsy fartsy type. Comic. We hear that all the time. It's a comics comic. Yeah, it just yeah. means that uh, comics appreciate the joke structure. They appreciate how the, the, the delivery and all that stuff. So there's some minimum standard of like where the person is still likable and relatable to their fans, uh, and that's all that really matters. That's what we're finding out because before we just relied on Hollywood to tell us. Oh who, right. Who, Gets the pass. Who gets to do what? Who you should pay attention and then, to. And then people like Andrew Schultz. Oh, Andrew he Schultz, dictates that. A- a- Andrew Schultz was like, ah, fuck y'all. You don't want to. Yeah. Oh, he went around the system. Yeah, he's he like, did, you don't he did want, his own thing. Because, because they weren't giving him they a pass him no to the castle. And they but went, don't right, you cool. need representation? Yep. <laughs> no, when you get to that level, don't you need like representation or be a part Which of Which he like, has, but he's not going to, like, he doesn't do anything to entertain Hollywood. Like yeah. before, guys were like, I don't know if I'd say this joke, man. He or, does you know, whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. I, you got to respect that. I mean, well, well that, that's but that's, that's, that's what attracts that. fans. Yeah. Fans hate that Hollywood shit now. They do? Yeah. They yeah, don't dig yeah. it anymore. Well, there's so many because now you have direct to consumer. That's what I'm saying, direct to consumer. So now, like, you know, the, 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 like, for instance, the UFC is controlled by one person. Yep. So Zufa? That, so, you, Zufa? So, you, so you need that person. Yeah. You know, yep. you need that you person, have to. right? You have to have that to person. play that game. You but have Jake Paul and these people, might, they might be like, no, nah, I don't think we need him. Yep. I don't think we need him. We, well, let's Connor do it like McGregor this. did that yep. too, right? Didn't Connor do his own thing? And no, he no. came up with the UFC and then partnered with the UFC. Oh, he didn't do his own no. league or anything? Uh-uh. Oh, so you're saying do your own league if you have the I'm family. saying you don't even need a league. All you need is a, a, a network that's going to say and a fan base and a fan base and that's it. Yeah, that's all you need. What do you, what do you need any like organization for if you're bringing all the fans? Like if you know, it could be like a street fight if all you want. If Jake Paul is like, yeah, live on YouTube, uh, backyard I'm, brawl, I'm, yeah, or something. Yeah, I'm millions. a fight, boom boom, and it costs five dollars to watch. It People would show up. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying is that we rely so much on like these establishments. But that's what we learned in the pandemic too is that. These places are just buildings, and people could do their own thing. You know, they you know they started that Supernova show. Yep. And outside, now, outside, yep. it's still going strong. Yeah, you know, really people strong. Still, you know, so yep. I'm saying people are realizing, hey, you know what? We can actually do shows wherever, wherever the talent is. People are going to come, mm-hmm. and so I think it just goes for all these types of things too. I think boxing, comedy, entertainment. Whatever oh, it right, might be, right, you know, right. but like, th- this I is mean, a look, look at Rogan. Yes, Rogan's like, I'm gonna pack my shit up, go to Austin, just build my own club there. And, pff, that's what I'm saying. So. We didn't king or sting the that thing. <laughs> oh, I think we it's, ignored I think it again. It's a, I think they it's basically a king. kinged it. They all yeah. kinged, kinged it. Yeah. I just want to stick to the Same, protocol. But, but Eric hit They're the jumping nail. off point, Stevie. <laughs> okay, but okay. but Eric hit it on, on the nose. Like <laughs> These fighters should take a lesson. Like Even if you hate the guy, he's getting all this attention, and he didn't pay his dues, I get it. But the takeaway should be, oh, I need to market my myself. Own shit. Yeah, market yourself. No, Eric hit it right on the head. Perfectly. Like even if you hate the guy, the one you can't thing you hate should on take that. is you got to own your oh, own dude. shit, your own brand, your merch. Brand you become yourself. undeniable. Yeah, yeah. man. Because it's like even if like even if you're not like you you know it's not it's not a meritocracy in in in, in this business in these businesses anymore. It's not just about the best is going to be here. You know they'll get to because they're not even getting the opportunity to prove who's the best. I've always said that the fighting should work more like traditional sports in a sense that you should have a season. It should be like a, some sort of like brackets or something. It should yep. be some sort of point based that so we know in nine months. When these two people fight, we know they're the best fighters in the world. Yeah, and there's no, there's no there's determination not, and, of that. And now, like it has turned over to kind of entertainment too. Like if you if you become champ, you know you're champ. You, everybody knows you're the best. But like there's a guy like Leon Edwards who's won like nine in a row. Oh, the dude from England is yeah. On, he's a badass. He's a badass. Yeah, but he's just dude. not very marketable to the American fan base. Yeah, because he's so in the UFC doesn't give him a title shot. And the the fans like, come on, dude. Yeah, what that's do you what have I'm to saying, do? Man. And the UFC's like. Just, See, but that's not fair because, like, in fighting, that's kind of different than comedy. Because, it's not. W- but it's when not. you're a good fighter and you're kicking everyone's ass, you can't deny that. They are denying it. That's they what are, we just but said. Just, it's same. It's same as on stage. Like, <laughs> we I'm, just said they're denying. We're saying. They're not giving him a they're title. Not, that's job. not fair. I mean, in fighting, that's not fair. I could see in comedy. But Steve, let me ask you this, Stevie: If you owned the comedy store or you owned the UFC. Who's selling the tickets? Ma- it's th- who's putting butts in seats? Yeah, yeah who's yeah, selling yeah, the tickets? So, like, how many comics do we know who are monsters? Yeah, yeah, are yeah, so yeah. talented. Yeah. If they you were him, though, tickets. what would you do different, though? That's a better approach. If I was Dana? No, no, no. The, the fighter, uh, Edwards. <laughs> it's what it's what 
He'd start a podcast with Theo. Yeah, he's got to do. <laughs> Dude, he's in there. You could, he's but, watch you work could but you're going to be doing it on your own a yeah. lot. <laughs> so, and then I'll be there for yeah. some reason. And you'll yeah. be complaining. So he's Why in is London. Griffin sitting in the- yeah. <laughs> He's in London. Hey, guys, is my YouTube channel. But that's not, yeah, it, it should You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it's the a way little to tough do it. If that's not in his. If but he's got to do thing. it. Yeah, but if well, you're that's not good at it, then. but if you're not good at it, it's I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's two routes: win until you're undeniable, which he's not doing because he's refusing to not fight unless it's a title shot. Basically, he's turned down all these fights, or do what you said: build your brand where they want you to fight. Even yeah, because you're that yeah, because, and also there's a shelf life to fighting, man. <laughs> you, you can't just be like, I'm gonna wait till I get my shot. Yeah. Then some, you know, 21 year old kid's gonna be like, I'm about to beat your yeah. ass. Yeah. Oh, man. you know, I or thought of a solution. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's do this. What's his name? Ian Edwards. Leon. Leon. Oh, Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards, Edwards too, though. <laughs> Leon Edwards. So if Ian wa- Edwards is fighting. Wait, Leon Edwards. If you're watching King of the Sting, what about for one episode, he sits in Eric's seat, and that will give him a platform. Here's the to problem. Sell him- Here's the problem, Stevie. Yeah. Is we're in the business of entertainment and comedy. <laughs> That's not his forte. <laughs> He's you know got. Saying? He's a funny guy, isn't he? <laughs> no. And you can't even understand him. Do you even he's know got a who really you're talking about? No, him. I know who he is, man. I watch fights, man. But Leon Edwards and Ian is. and Ian Edwards are pretty similar. Yeah. Like, no, I know. I know. I remember. It. You know what I'm saying? Like Ian's a monster. Yeah. Ian Edwards a monster. I'm talking he's about a great Leon. Con. Yeah. And give, Leon, give Leon yeah, and a shot. Writer. What about a 20 minute segment where he sits there? And you could do that for him, man. Hey, you you have the England. power Stevie, to do I, that. I appreciate you. This ain't make a wish, Bubba. Like he, he's gonna have to figure it out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I love the guy. So Leon, if you're out there, the, com- man, the a- comedy route might not be for Leon Edwards. Yeah, yeah. But does he have to be funny? It yes, can't... this is a comedy well, he show. Should be like a market. That's why. I mean, he should, that's why you. We're just saying he should market himself. Yeah, that's all we're shit. saying. So what you does know. he have to do? Take improv lessons? I'm confused. Like he just. Hey man, I don't know. You don't got it. Talk to his manager. That's right. Staying up to date on the latest trends and. And with football coming on and, and with school starting back, there's a lot, of, a lot of reasons to eat and a lot of things that are going to exhaust you and make you hungry. Well, Grubhub's got you covered. Yep. Grubhub works hard to serve restaurants so they can work hard to serve you. Grubhub is right now doing a little extra to serve Panera. Get a free delivery perk on your first order from Panera of $15 or more. Order through the Grubhub app or online. Grubhub. We serve restaurants. For 50 years now, American Home Shield has protected household budgets from the unexpected. Like a dryer that won't dry or an AC that won't turn on or that's lost its cool. In fact, American Home Shield helps cover the cost to repair or reduce parts of over 20 home systems and appliances when they wear out, no matter how old they are. Service fees, limitations, and exclusions apply. See plan for details. If American Home Shield can't remit repair the covered item, they'll replace it. Yep. American Home Shield members get more, more coverage options and fewer exclusions. Yep. Coverage available no matter how old your systems and appliances are. Exclusive $50 off for listeners of this show. Right now to celebrate 50 years of providing homeowners peace of mind. You can take $50 off. The most comprehensive plans ever go to AHS dot com slash k-a-t-s now to save fifty dollars that's a-h-s dot com slash k-a-t-s for fifty dollars off any plan american home shield be sure with the shield we got another right. debate club for you guys all right what's up king and sting this is chris um i love what you guys did with karaoke i would love to hear more um if you could play um any karaoke song or do any karaoke song what would it be uh, I know Eric has that soul. There's a Griffin with Griffin fan. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> week. Um, and uh, let's hear what he had to say. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, so Eric wasn't here a couple weeks ago. We did, you did karaoke, karaoke without yeah, me. Dude, yeah, no. Without you. <laughs> it'll be back. It'll be back next oh, week. Oh, we gotta do it with him. Next dude. week with Eric. Be great. Oh, he would kill it. But we need we can't play the song the songs, otherwise we'll get flagged by YouTube. So Chin's gonna learn the song. So what what I already got songs? one. I'm gonna hit it out the ballpark. Dude, what is it? Cindy La- Cindy Lauper, time time after time, Cindy Lauper. Why are you whispering Cindy into Lopper. a microphone? Y'all to know. <laughs> no, we heard it. It's a competition. <laughs> time after time? Cindy Lauper, time after time, dude. Okay. I'm going to practice all week. I don't think I've ever played that. Go ahead, guys. Uh, uh, wow. So Go you ahead. were a gangster and a musician? I wasn't yeah. a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I was dude. not in the game. Were you the soulful, you soulful guy? They were like, Jim. 
Sing that song. Like, <laughs> like West Side down. Story. <laughs> Chill everything down. <laughs> He's oh, a talented man. guy. Yeah. Like I like go ahead. We're waiting we'll, on we'll your... We'll think of something. Yeah, oh, we'll you figure got, it out. You have something off the top of your yeah, head? Yeah, go I, ahead, Eric. Next week, we I, I ordered a spinning wheel, and we're going to put all the options on there, and we're going to spin them, and whichever oh. one you land on, you're going to have to sing. So oh, do you, wow. Do you have one in your I back pocket? I rocked out the Metallica last time. Metallica? Yeah. 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 <laughs> do, 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 oh, see, I did more than words. <laughs> I don't know any of Metallica songs. <laughs> <laughs> he did Enter Sandman. It was, yeah. I know that it. guy, The uh, what's his name, the more than words uh, extreme guy. The you know, guitarist? He goes, the, you know, he goes to the song. comedy store all the time. Nuno Bencourt. Nuno Bencourt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. Well, I got his I, I, oh, damn. Okay, can I tell oh, you a quick story you. about him? So he goes to the comedy store all the time, and he's a weird hippie looking dude, right? Mm-hmm. When he's at the comedy store. So I didn't know this. He comes up to me, and he's like, a oh, huge fan, man. Uh, I would love for you to, can you come to my 50th birthday party and perform? <laughs> I don't know this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> weird looking dude. And I'm like, oh, man, dude, I don't. He's like, I, you know what? I'll email you, you know? Yeah. So I get a really nice email from, like, his assistant or someone. And I'm like, okay, the way it was written, and they're going to pay me. Yeah, professional. I'm like, I'm like, okay, you know what? They came at me right. I'll go. I start driving. I'm in the Hollywood Hills. Yo. And I'm going up <laughs> and up. Big boys. And up. Yep. And up. Past the Hollywood sign. Yep. And up. And I'm like, oh, shit. They get <laughs> yeah. to a house. It's beautiful. Mansion? Mansion, dude. I go inside. They, they say, just wait in there. He's coming. This, the wall is filled with gold records. <laughs> and then he comes out in a dope-ass suit looking like a fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, done. And, and I was like, he was like, and I look, I go, more than words. I go, hey, man, <laughs> open with this. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was scared, man. <laughs> <laughs> open with this shit here, I, man. I, I thought I was going to be playing an apartment in North Hollywood, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, it was his 50th birthday. His chick was 24. Yeah. You know what I mean? Metallica. His, her right? mom was there, too, just looking like. <laughs> <laughs> She was 38. Her mom, yeah, her mom was like, this should be me. <laughs> <laughs> but he's such a cool dude. That's dope. And man. he's actually like, he was like Rihanna's music musical director. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he's wow. like a, Big boy yeah, he's a, yeah, he's like a, you know, but he had this beautiful house. And you and would never like, think it. I would him? never even think. So well, I would say, don't judge a book by its yeah. cover. Like, wait to see how somebody approaches you and comes at where you. Where do you make that money? That's one song. That's like one popular. What are the other songs? Steve, Metallica? back in the day. Wait, <laughs> oh, no, wait, no. Oh, it's just Metallica. No, 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 no. Extreme. Extreme. No, the, extreme. There's okay. more no, no, than no, no, words. More, more than words guy. Yeah, but Steve, back in that day, you can make a lot of money on one song. I s- remember MTV seeing the v- music yeah. video. And I'm saying one song. V produces a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah he produces. Yeah. Oh, ghostwriting and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Oh, right, right, right. I just know that he has a lot of money. Yeah, so. How much was the gig? It's, it was good enough for me to like drive up to the hills okay. to some stranger's yeah. house, Strange to do house comedy in front of strangers. It was okay. fine. I should have asked for more, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so n- no song in your back pocket that you guys would yeah, sing? Yeah, go ahead, Brendan. <sighs> Mine would be What Would You Do by City High. Who's that? It's, it, you guys will know it if you hear it. What would you do if your son's at home? Uh, Ride yeah. all alone on the bed. Oh, the there you go. Yeah, you're a little too I have a lot of go tos. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of. I have, I'm one of those guys that has a karaoke list. <laughs> yeah. what, dude, oh, Eric lists for karaoke. Yeah, when I go to karaoke, I'm like, it's good to be back, everybody. It's good to be back. <laughs> no, Eric, no, Eric's the guy that goes, no, no, come on. I can't get. No, I <laughs> <woo, woo. laughs> yeah. I'm not going to sing that again. Stop, nah, guys. man. Uh, come on. This isn't my thing. Give me that. <laughs> Throw, give us an example. I like Ray Charles. There you I like. Go. Uh, 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 what's the one? Um, 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 I don't know, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Stevie Wonder. No, I don't like. I don't know. No, I don't do any Stevie. The Stevie Wonder ha- songs are really hard to sing. Prince. Uh, I like. I'm a. Pr- I like Prince. I, I'm a Purple Rain guy. To sing uh, Purple Rain. I'm. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I got Chocolate uh, Rain. Uh, 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 Kissing a Fool. George Michael. Mm-hmm. That's my go-to jam right fool. there. You look that one up. That's the jam. Yeah. Jen, how hard would it Jazzy be for song? you to play some Dave Matthews, like Satellite? Ugh. How dare you? No, no, Dave Matthews. Uh, one thing I can't play. How dare you? <laughs> don't <laughs> don't, don't do that. Oh, really? Yeah, he yeah. doesn't, he yeah, doesn't yeah. play traditionally. Oh. It's really, really awkward, and it's constantly rotating. Okay, okay no Dave like, Matthews. Oh, wow, really? It's way uh, super yeah, hard. Yeah, it's like, it wasn't Hendrix? Didn't he, Hendrix play yeah, his guitar in a weird way? Left-handed. You know? Wow. What about John Mayer? Mm. Probably could, but if I have to learn all these songs, it's going to be pretty tough in one week. We'll whittle it down. We'll whittle it down. You'll figure. But I mean, I think worst case we can do karaoke tracks because karaoke tracks they don't always get picked up on copyright. With you know the instrumentals saying? of them, yeah, so it's yeah, like the karaoke on a work. Oh, then you could do that. <laughs> I'll try to no, learn no, no, what no. I can. Actually, they do sometimes. Sometimes oh, they'll yeah. flag it on YouTube. Yes, because I because I used because I used to do this where I would game, and in between my gaming, I would do sing karaoke songs on on, on YouTube. Yeah, they'll be like, "This is a copyright song." 
Mm. When, I actually, your gig. when I actually <laughs> first started doing my podcast, I was like, I'm trying to come up with a theme song. And what I would do is like play like the, the karaoke of a song and then like just make up the words. Uh -huh. And I got flagged. Oh, wow. Mm. So then I was like, oh, well, yeah. we don't then the monetizing that. goes to whoever publishing. Yeah, they, don't, they don't, they don't, don't you know, that. yeah, yeah. They, they give all their your money a to A lot of times else. they share though. A lot of times yeah. they, they like, share, do it. It's not a good share. share. Still, no, no, fuck yeah. that. Change <laughs> Purple Rain for him. I'll, how about if I bring a little purple rain thing and I'll just do the beats. <laughs> yeah, Purple Rain, Purple Rain. You, purple Rain? You, you yeah. gotta have the, you gotta yeah. have the, uh, the, what do you call it? You gotta have the mic effects. That's what makes it, that's what makes karaoke work. I have one little thingy. Well, of course you do. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we're Asian. Yeah, you're Asian. You're Asian. Asian. Yeah. You, you, that's, it comes Chin, with the Chin. Asian household. It does. Uh, easy there. Chin, yeah. Chin, oh, <laughs> a rice with, dispenser, ooh. a rice cooker, <laughs> easy, a karaoke Chin, machine. A karaoke machine. Chin, you want to back me up on this, man? He's, yeah. he's Our household has it. <laughs> Go ahead, Chin. Our household has it. <sighs> Sorry, man. Okay. Yeah. Most households that I know. I don't have it. Yeah. Well, because. I have the rice cooker. There's no space. You don't. Where are you gonna put the karaoke machine next to the Xbox? Let me or? You smell my black butt next week. I'll tell you that much. You're smelling my black butt. Oh. Yeah, your nose. Inside What's this the guy want, Nick? This, this guy's got another okay. debate club for us. Okay. What up, King and the Sting family? Matt here, sending y'all a whole lot of love from New York City. I know y'all are holding it down out west. I got you out east. Um, shout out to everybody in the studio, Brendan, Eric, Stevie, Jesus, y'all are like the junior varsity United Nations that just gave up on trying. But I've got a debate club for you. I don't know if you've heard Damn, about dog. the Bishop Sick High School football scandal, <laughs> uh, and I'm sure Nick could give you any sort of context if you haven't. But here's my question. What is more embarrassing, losing 58 to zero on national TV or ESPN airing a football game with a fake high school? ESPN. It's absolutely absurd. You heard that right. What do you think? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, stay blessed. And Brendan, if you ever come out east and need a spotter, you got to be too something to do something, baby. Holla at your boy. What's up, dog? Damn, he rich, rich. Hell New York? Yeah. Yeah. He like crib. <laughs> New York? Yeah. yeah. He, well, that was just a set of friends? That was kind of flossy right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, know, you just we, showed a we, piano and shit. See the background right there? He does, he does video yeah. tutorials and yeah. shit. I wonder if he rented out an influencer space or something. No, that, there's a ring light back there. That's what I'm saying. Look at the ring light. go that far, The piano. I, I don't, who knows? So what is he now? What is this about? Have now? you seen this? So ESPN aired this game uh, against was it IMG, uh, which is like a real big like national powerhouse high school, right? And they couldn't find them an opponent. They couldn't find an opponent for months, months. So they reached out to a third party to find an opponent. Well, this uh -huh. third party is like a scam, and oh. they filled it with this high school that's like actors. Well, they said, well, we got like ten five star recruits and. ESPN didn't do any due diligence and just let this team play them. And they're like fake, fake players. One dude graduated in like 1999. Oh <laughs> and they just got their God. ass beat, beat. And it's just, it's, it's, it's like Joes versus pros. Like yeah. you watch, you're like, what? How the fuck did ESPN? Why would you let that happen? And nobody, nobody looked into it. So you see these coaches just super unprofessional on the sidelines. You're side telling me there's like no leagues out. with other teams, man? There is, but they were like, just trying to find a, a, a team to play this monster team. I, I think oh it had to do God. with like other powerhouses didn't want to play this team because then you get a loss oh, on their record and there's like rankings. And this is right. like the team. Well, that's just like fighting. Well, look at it. They look like the fucking so Dallas Cowboys. this is the Cowboys. ESPN? That's that's the legit team. This is the legit thing, not the ESPN. And the announcers started like a, basically apologizing. Yeah, the announcers oh, knew. They're like, uh, yeah, play it, play it. The announcers. Division one prospects that's on their roster. Oh, that's great entertainment. Frank, a lot of that. Is that the make believe up. team? No, that's no, the real. That's the real team. Also, the Dallas Cowboys. Wait, the real team beat the fake team. Yeah. Beat the shit out of them. Oh, I thought and the fake team. No, was hell full no. Of the like no, the fake team was full of like. Whoever. Not football players, oh, like oh. guys who graduated in like '97, oh, oh. and, and their who, names were super fake. And whoever oh. said they were in charge of the fake school got like a big check, but now there's lawsuits all over. But these announcers kind of because the announcers were worried because this team beat them so bad, they're like you know, with well, this a health concern at this point, man. Yeah. Oh, guys what was the score? Lit. Fifty-three to zero. Ooh. They had a number of Division One prospects on their roster. To be frank, a lot of that. We could not verify. <laughs> database, they did not show up in the databases of other recruiting services. So it's okay. If that's what you're telling us, fine. That's how we take it in. From what we've seen so far, this is not a fair fight. And, and there's got to be a point. Who are these people on the sidelines? That, that's the fake team. That's the fake team. I already am worried about it. I, I, I want to see one play. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. This, is, this could potentially be They could have beat him 200 to zero. Given the circumstances and the mismatch that we have here, 
And, um, and, and, and quite honestly, Bishop Sycamore doesn't have not only the frontline players, but they don't have the depth in case something were to happen to their roster with maybe a kid or two here Ugh. throughout the remaining two and a half. But well, you know ESPN, what the problem how's this happen? Yeah. Well, I tell you how this happens. It's all about money, man. Yeah, they didn't want to risk losing the advertising right. on the game. It's like money, 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 money. You it's got business. the names of the players. They said, who let this slide? The name of the players is just a bunch of – there's multiple same names on there and shit. Is the game online? I want to watch it. <laughs> you I, do not. It, it is not no, a fun game to watch. No, it's entertaining, man. No, they beat the shit out of them. That's the names there. EJ Walt, Wash, Jalen Knight. Johnny Melvin Vera. Marcus. Mar and then Marquez Goodwin, oh, Goodwin is an Goodwin. NFL player. Duncanson. <laughs> I like EJ Wash. <laughs> Mark Armin. EJ Matt Wash. Matt Armin. Well, Devontae oh, Jackson Richard Sweeney. sounds like a good player. Teldrin Foster. Wow. It's like the fake rookies in Madden when you do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's the incentive in this, and that's the, Look at the depth chart. There's, there's so do they get paid, these guys? What was the incentive? The, 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 yeah, the, fake the third party gets paid. But what about, so they're just, they didn't get nothing? No. And I wonder what notoriety. He, but I wonder what he told them. Like, what did he tell this team that he got together? Like, they had to know. Like, you you didn't you didn't go in being like, oh, we're playing a high school team. Like, they had to know that this was what was happening. Yeah, I don't know. So man. they so those guys on the sideline got paid some money, and they probably didn't even realize they they got got. Yeah, for sure, everybody you know, did. He, they probably were like looking at this later, like, wait a minute, I only got paid five hundred dollars for the day yeah. or whatever you know, whatever yeah, yeah. it is. It's hilarious though. Because that high school, the high school so what's obviously the, gets So what's money. the other example then? So there's that example. What's uh, the other one? He said what's more embarrassing, losing 58-0 to zero or ESPN airing the fake ESPN. school? ESPN. Yeah. ESPN airing ESPN. it. Yeah, that's Fuck the most. That. Yeah, that's the embarrassing part. Yeah, but who's that embarrassing too, though? Is it, I guess to them. ESPN. ESPN. Huh? The best is the announcers because they got duped too because they thought it was going to be a competitive game because yeah. I'm sure they didn't do their due diligence and they get there like, who the fuck is this team? Well, if you're especially if the announcers are like, Ex football players, they it's are like, because it's like when you're watching a fight. I'm sure that if there was some amateur, you would just notice it like like this. Oh, you'd be like, oh, that guy yeah. doesn't know what he's doing. Yep. Even though the layman would be like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like you know when you watch gymnastics and then like uh, you know you hear the person being like, ooh, that that was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I thought it was pretty good, and I'm like, that looked great. That what are you talking about? Like it? ten, ten fucking like, ten. <laughs> yeah. Give it a ten. But they were like, ah, the, the technique I on the boom, boom. So that's probably what these guys instantly were like. You know what the toughest thing doing. to tell in the Olympics is that when they dive, the Olympic divers when they do all the flips, I don't I'm get like. It. It, it all looks. They all look like tens. Yeah, I don't, it, it I don't looks happen. fine to me. But they're like, oh, there's oh. A, what is that? Yeah, like, the Filipino yeah, guy to flip a little oh, early. Yeah. You guys see that? Show them that. <laughs> what is it? Filipino you got to show. Bob sent me this. It's the it the is, Filipino team. Are they not very good? Oh dude, God, dude, dude you got to awesome. watch this. You <laughs> have they to belly watch flop this. and shit. Or they're what? the worst team. I think it was the worst team like in the history of diving. So they might as well sent the Lee brothers. Hey, they easy with the words there. Easy with the words. Check it out. Right now in Singapore, and right now the Philippine diving. Team. <laughs> <laughs> just back. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> they call him the Splash <laughs> Brothers. That's commitment. But also, look at his face. <laughs> Nobody else's face is like that. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. He knew. Listen, man. Let me tell you something. When he <laughs> hit that diving board, his brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. All right, show him the other one. They give him all, all zero. <laughs> look at this dude. <laughs> This guy's the best. <laughs> Holy smokes. They know they're about to eat yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Like, what am I, in his face, like, what am I doing here? Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like me jumping in the fucking pool, man. Wow, he got no, he got no height on that jump at No, he all. just did like a cannonball. Help me! <laughs> he tries to save it at the end. They're like, come on, dog. He tries to bridge, back bridge at the end. This is the Bishop Sycamore diving team. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's who the Filipinos sent to represent him, man. These guys are like, we'll try, bro. <laughs> you we, gotta get these guys on the show. I love these guys. It <laughs> looks, Tell me that's not it. It looks like that's their first time oh, ever diving. Like Holy they told him when they got there. So no, what this we, is their team. No, that, so what these are we guys doing? are trained. That's the best Filipino. This that is the best, have. dude. This Listen, is the best. Imagine who finished fifth and didn't get didn't qualify. <laughs> real. That motherfucker broke their head on the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love they call the Splash Brothers. <laughs> are these the only guys who showed up for the yeah. like, for, for trials? <laughs> 
It's like oh. they showed up. They missed the first day of practice, but then they started showing up. They missed the diving part, but they're tucks and rolls. Yeah, they're tucks and rolls. Even the they're, way they approach yeah. the dive board is good. D- dude, I bet yeah. they went to home and like, Mom, I'm going to the Olympics. Dude, She's that like, one. for what? <laughs> Whoa, which one was first? The first one or the second? No, no, that, that first guy. First guy is way No, no, listen. Dead. He knew when he did this move. <laughs> Wait, hold up. He, when Can we hit, see it one more time? I need to hit the diving board. board. One more time, Nick. Can he first hit the diving board and he went up. He was like, I didn't do this right. Yeah, he's like, Hold on, let's watch it again, guys. I didn't do this right. Let's you know, watch it again. Tell, I want to he see already, it. He's already making the face. Like, the, the, other thing is, here. the other thing is the divers usually don't strain this hard either yeah. in the face. Oh, wait, okay. Let's no, see. He knew okay. he was going to get hurt. This is the first guy, okay? Right he's on. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, now, right here, he knew he didn't do it right. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about, because you look, wait, wait till they show his face. He knew. Face the best part. <laughs> he knew on the jump. <laughs> Right there he is. <laughs> he's, <all awesome. laughs> he's not even in line with the board. Uh, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that I was love the that first he tried one. That it was like the first this. one. Okay, high five. Zeros. Yeah, those are zeros. You got zeros? Zeros. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this guy's like, ah fuck. I mean okay. zero. I mean he come on, man. Okay, so that would be like That'd be the thing that the. Uh, I mean, God, like he looks. Zero. I'm surprised the social There's justice warriors didn't be like Hold zero. That's <laughs> racist. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, they they're slipping off the board. Yeah, they're just, and they're not. They're going off to the side yeah. and shit. No, he shouldn't be under the diving board. <laughs> they both have the same facial expression. Yeah, they're just, they're just, <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> the second one was worse because he. What's the to, biggest flash? Trying to world. save it at the end. Oh uh, my good god. Good call, Stevie. Oof. What yeah. else you got, Nick? Uh, oh. Stevie, I guess, took our talk about male only fans to heart. And, oh, uh, is this Cats in the Wild? Yeah, this is a Cats in the Wild. There's Stevie. Get it, Steve! <laughs> you, don't, you don't hear do that black butt, Stevie? <laughs> All right, cut. <laughs> Run it back! <laughs> Run it back! <laughs> Cut. Time stamp. <laughs> time stamp. Time stamp. Time stamp. <laughs> and please, delete. Could Nick. you please make a okay. T-shirt that says "Time Thank stamp"? You. Stamp it. Oh, oh that boy is. <laughs> I mean, Dude, you, look at him go, dog. <laughs> look at Stevie you go. Me I look like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me making sure I still got every five minutes. Dude, look at the face. Steve. I mean, he just has those Hanes socks on. Doesn't it hurt when people. That's supposed to be paid content. Now people put it on the internet. Just doing your that's shit. That's a dude? Bro. Oh, yeah. It's probably the dude who gave you a massage in the Philippines. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> this one Next. has been sent in a lot recently. Oh, yeah. uh, Brendan joined the Taliban. Oh, God. Look at this guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Similar. Wow, that's like Fly a fly-ass outfit, though. That, that's like, yeah. that guy is if Brendan and Aladdin had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new world. <laughs> Beautiful haircut, though, dude. You should grow your hair out like that, dude. The world. Yeah, that guy's a that's a great piece. haircut, dude. <laughs> Look at that haircut. How come we don't have a gun, though? <laughs> uh, those were the best uh, King of the Stingets of the week. We got some good ones for Theo, but we'll wait till he's back. That shit is funny, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Theo. Have a king or sting it for you this time. Air fryer. Do you guys like them? Do you guys use them? Brandon, I know you probably have somebody cooking for you being all fancy. Theo, I know you're using that Teflon pan for everything. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Theo eats canned food. I don't know what that <laughs> is about. The air fryer is my family lives off that well, air What does fryer. that do? What is that? That shit is lit. What is that? You can like cook chicken tenders. Like my kids eat chicken tenders in like five minutes. They come is out it crispy. Is it an oven? What is that? It's, it's like a convection oven, I think. Uh, they yeah. they had like a renaissance over the huh. pandemic because you can yeah. put anything. I got a convection oven. It's not an air fryer, but is I got a, a convection oven. No, they're great. One? Yeah, they're great. No, it's actually like a shit is oh, really? ginormous. You can do barbecue my, in there and- uh, no, I don't know if you embark, but no. my girl like does wings. They're the well, best chicken, chicken wings chicken you've wings. ever had in your life. It's healthy too because you're not cooking in grease. Exactly, it's so way healthier. So how does it heat up? Hot is it air. steam? Like what magic, is it? What's man? Air? Magic. Steve, Steve, listen to the name. Air. <laughs> the oh, hot air, air. Okay. fryer. <laughs> air fryer. So frozen pizza. Yes. Chicken put, wings. Yep. yep. Oh man, it's dope. Man. Where can you get Vegetables, one of those? Vegetables. Where can you get one? Target. This Amazon. sounds like one of those like. 
QVC commercials. <laughs> Steve's like, where, where can those I get one like, of those? So where can I get one of those? <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. Thank you for asking, No, because that would fit in my Dial apartment. Dial number. No, yeah. I could use one. For where real. can I get one of those? Can you put Amazon, a chicken pot Target. pie in it? Can you put like a yeah. mini calendar? Yeah, you can put oh, one. Well, guys, Steve's going to get rid of the hot plate. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do a Steve infomercial. I can't do everything, can I? I can. Yeah. Can I do everything with my air fryer? A chicken pot pie. There's no way a but, chicken pot pie is going to fit in this. Steve's got to have the pigtails when he does it. <laughs> Are we gonna wrestle? I can actually. Doing? I can actually put this whole turkey in there. Can I? And then fucking. I'm getting one. Oh, there, dude. Life. I'm getting one. Yeah. Target. And like, if Definitely. you can, you can like reheat like old pizza in there. It oh, stays dude, crispy. That's my steak. Thing. That's it's great. my thing. It's great. Yeah. Down my alley. Chicken right wings, dude. Alley. My girls' yeah. chicken wings are ridiculous. Yeah. There you go. We did it. Brendan, see you. Got the Ernie and Bird eyebrows. Thanks for having me on King and the Sting. Uh, my name is Jordan. I'm from the Seattle, Washington area. I'm from a little town called Puyallup. We got a bunch of tribal stuff going on here. And with that, we got a lot of casinos, which I'm actually at right now in the parking lot. So you got a lot um, of and I got a quick well. King and the Sting it. What do you, what's your guys' take on casinos? Do you like gambling? Are you not about it? If you do go to a casino, what game are you playing? For me personally, I play blackjack, mm -hmm. but that's because, and let's keep this a little secret here, I like to count cards. I'm learning how to do that, and I'm getting pretty successful at it, and I'm hoping to continue to do it in the future. Um, so keep yeah, that energy when you go to Vegas, us. dog. They and will sniff you out well and fucking kick First of all, all, first of all, all I want to say gang, already, buzz, buzz. Uh, so this is a sting on him, <laughs> yeah. because... Like, it's not illegal to count cards. Yeah. Because it's not illegal. So you're not doing anything wrong, but you the casino will kick you out. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a pretty popular show. Mm -hmm. All it takes is just one person in the casino business to be like, well, that guy's counting cards. Yep. Uh, and then they'll have it, they'll, they'll have him in a system, and there'll be some face recognition, yeah, you're not gonna and get he's a, out. You're not going to get arrested, but the casinos just aren't going to let yeah, you Yeah, they're not going to let you It's not against the law. I don't like playing blackjack because I don't like being around idiots. <laughs> you don't know how to play? And no, 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 I, no, no. I'm saying if I'm at a table with people, and you know the dealer's showing a three, and you know you got a you know you got a sixteen. You know you're supposed to stay or like whatever. You know what I mean? Like there's a certain there's a certain mathematical etiquette. There's etiquette. There's etiquette. Yeah. So and when you're not doing that at a five at a five dollar table, up. I'm like, no nah, man, I'll give you five dollars. Hit that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like I hate that. So I don't play unless I'm playing with my friends. Yep. But my game of choice is uh, craps. Oh, craps! Fun. I love craps yeah, in Vegas. Craps fun. Yeah. Craps is a I don't like Vegas. Yeah, I don't like Vegas, I don't like Vegas, Vegas the pool, either. The, weird, the pool's oh, lukewarm. It's filled with suntan oil. There's always like, hustles. There's like hustles, too, there. there. There's so the many pool. hustles. The hustle just, I, I'm not a there. Vegas guy, man. Yeah, I me neither. Problem. I was just in Vegas, and one thing I can't oh, yeah, stand how, in Vegas. Oh, yeah, you were there last? Yeah. Like, how was it? Yeah, just, it is what it is, man. You had some just, shows? Yeah, I was there, there all week. And this is why I can't stand in Vegas. Don't bring your kids to Vegas. <laughs> it's not for kids. This ain't a kid's place. No, it's not. It's an adult playground. You are selfish when you are walking around a casino with your six-year-old thinking you're doing something, you're there for you. And people yeah. are smoking. Yeah. There's also whores, here, there's also whores everywhere. Bro. <laughs> there's that, yeah. which is why we go. <laughs> Am I right? Timestamp that. Timestamp that. Timestamp. Timestamp that. No <laughs> reaction. No man, but the uh, I don't know, man. I just I I, I like to gamble, uh, but it, it can be a problem for people. So you know, gamble. Oh, yeah. You know, correctly. Don't go with like it's an addiction. Don't dude. go. It is. Don't go with money that you need to pay your rent. R roulette's fun too. Or the slots like, are fun. Right, the slots fun. are fun. Yeah. The slot machines are fun. See, man. that's your Asian coming out. Yeah, man. That's your Asian coming out. <laughs> you are an old <laughs> Asian woman. Only old Asian. Women ching, are at the, ching, at the smoke chain, so just like back me up, ching, ching, smoking. Yeah. Ching. You know it's what I mean? fun, dude. They're there for it's nine fun. hours. No, nah, yeah. dude, it's fun times. No, nah, I don't get they that. They get territorial yeah. about the machines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do. They have. They no, have dude, a, they have a, they have a, have a row of them. Yeah, they have a row of them. No, they're not territorial. They are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chin, are they territorial with the slot machines, my man? Come on, Steve. You know this. The ants, they all get together. They take up a section. Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't like you. Could, they smoke in there. I, hate I don't smoking. like that. They're and they, smoking. They, they, they vulture. They wait for someone yeah. who's been sitting there for yeah. a while to get up, like pissed off, yeah. and then they swoop oh, in. Oh, they swoop in. They actually curbed like... the smoking, though, Steve. Oh, they did. Uh, certain, yeah, certain. No, areas when I was, I'm sure they're the, vaping. It's because of, it's because of the. Uh, they were like, well, we have to wear masks, right? Because you have to wear masks yeah. at the thing now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. You have to wear masks. So they're like, hey, 
and I, and I'm with you on that. Like if I'm if I have to wear a mask and some asshole is smoking, like fuck <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh okay. hell no. You know how many times I just fart at the table? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm swear to God, somebody's just smoking. I just be. <laughs> oh, you don't like you don't like that smell? You don't like that? that well, I don't like the cigarette. Is man. that smell bothering you? Yeah. Is that is that, is that obnoxious? Yeah. Is what's happening right now? Like get out of here, dude. Your farts would bother me so bad, dude. Hmm? Your farts. <laughs> Hmm? Steve, yeah, you know Steve. Can bad. you time stamp <laughs> it? <laughs> time stamp it. <laughs> Did you take my tip? Hit up NBA Summer League when you were there. Kill I the wanted to, but it was just like, listen, it was so hot. <laughs> oh, it was fucking. Okay. You don't want to do anything. I don't. I, I. And then like, I'm doing Brad Garrett's club. So where you right. stay and where the club is is a legit 17 minute walk. Oof. Okay, and every single time, hike. You know, and and then it, even it, but and, is this, no is this club service. in MGM? Yes. Yeah. And then there's no room service. Oh no. no and no. in the signature towers, there's nothing. There's you can't nothing. get water. Yeah, there's nothing. So there. you have to take this walk. So I, I mean, I was like, nah, I don't, I don't. After all that, I'm not going outside. Oh, well, what do you do there to, to pass time? Then do you just stay in your I room? I my Xbox. I was streaming oh, all day. Oh, you played yeah. You're in New York this week, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm going to Caroline's. Because uh, David Lucas is going with you, right? Yeah, he's just, he's already going to be out there. That's what he said. Yeah, so I was like, I, I saw I, I uh, got him on the show. Yeah, so. that'd be great. Yeah. Is um, it weird doing a comedy in Las Vegas? Is it different? Yes. It is way very different. different. Brendan, is it? You been way there? Different. It's all it's all tourists. Well, how's it tourists. different? How's it different? Well, but here's the thing: so if you're doing on the strip, it's all tourists, right? Yeah. So unless you're like Seinfeld or Leno, that's mm -hmm. not your crowd. It's yeah. all tourists. But uh, Keith from Wise Guys yeah, opened a club just, I, there. We, I, I uh, hung out with Pauly Shore while I was there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was the king there. You know, huh? it, was he at Wise Guys? Uh, no, he was going to be. But he's like, you know, Pauly's a weirdo. You yeah. know what I mean? So I love him. But he's like, we did this like man on the street thing with him. Oh, and word. His weird Oh, for fans. his YouTube chat? For his YouTube? He, for his Instagram. And people were walking up to him. Pauly! Because oh, that was right. my, because I'd always do, you know, like uh, casino theater shows. Like Harris? The strip. Casi like it was Harris. just weird. It, it's yeah. just a weird vibe. I mean, you have your fan base, which so is like a weird vibe. And then now that Wise Guys opened in Vegas, and it's in like, it's it's for the locals. So I'm, I'm playing there, I think, October. What's Wise Guys? Wise Guys is like one of the best clubs in the nation. Oh. It's in Salt Lake City. Okay. But he opened a new one in Vegas, in Vegas. but it's for the locals. It's off the strip, oh. like in the suburbs. Yeah. That's well, what Well, oh, that's play. different. It's, it's not off the strip. It's like, it's just a little Outside bit Outside of it, yeah. It's like, because downtown's right there. Yeah, yeah. Because we went to this barbecue place. He took me to this barbecue place that's right yep. like, down the street from it. But it's in, for, like, but it's for locals. Like, it's yeah. not right. like if you play the Mirage or Caesars that's or Twitch. Well, yeah, because if you're, if you're staying in Vegas, you're not leaving your casino to go down to some like no. you know you're not doing that so that's they why they got it good is for food there though at those casinos right the I buffets casinos. and everything i don't like any of that shit oh, yeah, okay. i don't like it i like a good steakhouse me too yeah, i like a good steakhouse but yeah. i ain't going to buffets anymore. Uh -uh. okay i'm sorry i'm out at a buffet listen why is I, everyone so ugly at the buffet i was already <laughs> yeah. dude because I mean, think of the people it attracts just warlocks <laughs> i dude i was already iffy about buffets before covid like I when I would go to a buffet, I would be like, I get like a stack. I say, can you give me some hand sanitizer things? Every time I go to the thing, I get the food and then I go back to my table and I wipe my hands. You don't know what people are doing. Oh, bro, I'd grab them crab legs. My, my oh, they got crab like, lobster ah, there. Toss it back in, and the next person <laughs> picks it up. And this shit. is the kind of guy. And then also, have you, have I, you, I'm not trying to shit my pants. I'd, I'd get like a piece of fucking prime rib, some crab legs, a fucking Sunday. Like yeah, you just get dude, all this weird monster. shit. Have you ever you're seen a that video? Have you ever seen a video of the guy at Whole Foods <laughs> drinking? Eating the soup out of the ladle. What? Yes. Yeah. I've Have you seen, seen that? Yes. That Dude, is. Dude. No way. He you know should what? get his ass beat. That's what I was going to say. We're going to fight. I want to see that. We're going to fight. He should get his ass beat. I want to see that. Yeah, this, 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 no this, this way. This may make your stomach turn. Yeah. A guy slurping soup at a buffet. How yeah. gross. He was caught on camera slurping. What's One, your problem, two, dude? Three. <laughs> Four times before we huh? the ladle to the pot. Oh, Holy at a supermarket disgusting. In Chicago. Yeah. What world are you from? No, yeah. dude. So that's like Etiquette, right? That's some buffet stuff, man. <laughs> Agreed. That's, Etiquette, me, that's some buffet dude. shit. Because even at a buffet... I, I, oh, I sometimes out, I'm, a people, I'm a people I'm a people watcher. Oh, me too. Especially oh, at a buffet. Watcher. So like so you'll see somebody at a buffet get up and you know they just went to the bathroom. I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know what they do in there. And they come back. Dude, and you that's wash on hands. site. That, we're fine on that's site. Boom, then you elbow, at the dude. buffet. Also, you see them big girls, the big white girls, grab the muffin, look at it, and then put the muffin back. I'm like, bitch, you're fat. Etiquette, man. dude. Just yeah. grab the whole top of my muffin. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't like buffets no more. You shouldn't. No. Also, think think how cheap that food is. If it, oh, like the you eggs as much and as the you bacon. Want. Yeah. 
You think that's like oh, top powdered of the line? eggs, huh? It's not even probably. Real. Have you ever been on a cruise ship? Yeah, dude. I would. I remember Look my, my parents cruise used to ships love and shit. carnival Jesus. cruise ships, right? Yep. And that's that, that's just the ghetto cruise. Cruise. Mm-hmm. It's the Spirit Airlines. There's cruise. three kinds of people yeah. on cruises. You got old, you got fat. And Don't you say got, Asian. And you got old. Well, <laughs> old and fat. <laughs> And then Asian. (laughs) (laughs) No, but they like, and so like, it's so bad on cruise, on the cruise ship that like, they have somebody administering the bacon. (sighs) What? Because otherwise it's people. Otherwise just a free for all. Yeah. Wow. You know, then then you just all the waste is to the guys like, you know what? Here's three. And then come back. Come back. Yeah. You need some more. Here's three. And also don't come back. No, but it was just, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, there's something about a buffet that's just like, I used to love buffets. And then, like, I, as I got older, I was like, I can't be doing this. A hometown buffet? No, never. All right, all right cut that out. <laughs> Time the, the big one's Golden Corral, right now. But they're all going out of business, right? Soup plantation went under. Because Golden people, Corral's not because I, I think uh, and, uh, Jeff Foxworthy is like their spokesman. <laughs> people don't want to do that. I mean, I that's why I'm for personally. That's why I, st- I like Korean barbecue. There you because go. Because you're you touching. Are, there you go. Because like, all you have to worry about is they're bringing the food, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. and then you're burning off all whatever it is yourself. Yeah. Korean barbecue is great. Yeah, the best. Like Korean yeah. barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they're still open, which is good. There's a, remember you, that Eric. one I took you to over by my old place? Delicious. That dude. place is great. It's only, but they, they raised their price, though. It used to be 19 it was delicious, for all you can dude. eat. Now it's 25. But I get it. I love Korean yeah, barbecue. You know what I mean? People got to make money. The side yep. dishes, all that. Yeah, I love all yeah. that stuff. That's all we got. That's it. Yeah. All right, kids. Uh, uh, September 9th through the 11th, oh. I'm at San Jose Improv. San, San Jose Improv with the boys, Chappelle Lacey, David, our boy David Lucas. That's San Jose Improv, 9th through the 11th. Then after that, I'm in San Antonio, the big boy, Bud Light Event Center, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, that's September 24th, one show. September 25th, one show. And then I close out the end of September in my hometown, Comedy Works, Denver. Come get your tickets at FATKZ.com or ThickBoy.com. Also, the Built Shirts uh, collab with Thick Boy drops next week. Today, you can go see me in New York. I'll be at Caroline's from the 2nd to the 4th. Great club. And then next week, I'll be at the Denver Comedy Works from the 9th to the 11th. And then I finish September in Boston uh, at uh, the Boston Comedy Club, uh, the 23rd to the 25th. Nice. So come check me out. Uh, Stevie just, Scissor Bros. Scissor Bros at Austin, Texas sometime in September. Oh, Moon Tower Comedy that Festival. Moon Tower Comedy yep. Festival. Nice, man. Yeah, that's it. Appreciate you guys. They're going to be drinking Drano. But that was a fun one. Brendan and Theo, fighter and weight. I gotta go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black rifle coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor, I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious, brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brendan ate the queso and the queso Ritos. But everything's gone. Gonna be fine. Ay. Hate on me, I do not mind. Ay. Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times. Yeah. They sliding into my DMs. Yeah. A couple of you try but couldn't beat them. No. Quit playing like Nintendo DS. You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz. Uh. Meaning y'all edible. Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible. Yeah. Brennan's son hit me up. He said it's too loud in the club. Can you pick me up? King and the sting. On a string oh, yeah.